Hello, Mia here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Ventrilo after you install it to your computer. First, open up the Ventrilo program by double clicking on the icon. There are some key parts that you have to remember when using Ventrilo. First off, you'll need a username. This name will show up on other people's computers. In World of Warcraft, it is recommended to use your in-game name. When you have multiple usernames, you get a drop-down box where you can see all the usernames you have created. To make a new username, click on the right arrow to the right of the drop-down box. This will open up a dialog window where you can manage your usernames. Click on New, another box comes up where you type in the username you wish to have. Then click OK. If you wish to delete a username, you can hit the delete button to remove it from your drop down box. The server drop down box is where you see all the Ventrilo servers you have saved under a username. A server's information is needed before you can begin to talk to your friends or coworkers. First off, there are two things you'll need to access a server an internet connection a server's information with the host name, port number, and if necessary, a password to the server. To add a new server to a username, select the username that you wish to save this server under by clicking on the drop-down box in the username row. Next, click on the right arrow next to the server drop-down box. Here's where you can manage all your servers under a username. Click on the new button and type the name you want to save the server under. In the host name or IP field, type in the server's IP or host name. This can be numbers or words. Next, in the port number field, type in the port number to the server. If there's a password to the server, you can put it in the password field. This field is case sensitive, so be sure to type the password correctly. Once you've filled out the server's information, you can click OK. If you've entered the server's host name or IP information correctly, you should see a message stating the server is available. Please press connect to continue. Click on the connect button to connect to the server. You are now connected to the server. You might get a window that pops up. It's okay. This is the message of the day window. Some admins of servers like to send bulletins to their users. Click to check the display only if it changes to display the message when it changes. Next, click close. At the top of the server, you should see the server's name. This helps identify what server you're on. You should see channels. These are rooms that you can join. On the left of these channels will dictate what kind of channel it is. If the plus sign is blue, the channel is open to the public. If the plus sign is red, the channel is password protected, and you'll need the password to enter that channel. If the plus sign is yellow, that means only users who have an account on the server can enter that channel. Ask the person in charge of the server if you can access that channel. By default, Ventrilo has your, vent has your microphone set up to push to talk. This means you have to press and hold a button as you talk into your microphone in order for people to hear you. By default, this button is the left control button. You can change the, this configuration by clicking the Setup button on the right side. On the left hand side you'll see a few things checked. Next to Hotkey, you'll see what button the Push to Talk is set to. Click in the field to select it. Don't panic if you see Mouse Button 1. As you can see, the insertion cursor is blinking. This means you can press the 1, 
or two buttons you wish to use every time you wish to talk to someone. Once you've set up your hotkey, click on OK to close the setup window. If you press your hotkey, the speaker next to your username will turn green. This means your microphone is open. If the speaker is red, this means your microphone is closed and no one can hear you. Green means open, red means closed. And that's how you use Ventrilo after installation. Thanks for watching and hope this helps. With love, from Mia.